And we're told that that when I is two amperes, we want to calculate the ratio of the potential difference across R to the EMF across L when I is two amperes. So we close the switch. There's a current. As you know by now, when you close the switch, at that instant, the current is zero. Then the current starts rising. It doesn't rise instantly to E over R because of the presence of the inductor. The inductor prevents the sudden changes in the current. And so it rises, if I plot the current versus time, it rises gradually and then reaches the steady value of E over R. That's how the current looks like after I close the switch. Of course, the maximum current is E over R, which is 4 amperes. That's the maximum current. So we're told when the current is 2 amperes, what is the ratio of the potential difference across R to the EMF across R? Now, when I is 2 amperes, that's in fact a simple question, the potential difference across the resistance R is just IR, which is 20 volts. And so, since there are only 40 volts, 20 volts appear across the resistance, so 20 volts must appear across the inductor. So what is EL? 40 minus 20, which is 20 volts. So what is ER over EL over EL over ER? Zero. Uh, one, I mean. They are equal. So at that instant, we have equal potential difference across both of them. What is EMF across L when I is 4 amperes? I is 4 amperes, that's the maximum current. When I is 4 amperes, then what is ER? So now I is 4 amperes. So ER is just 4 times 10, 40 volts. Since the battery has 40 volts, the 40 volts appear across R. So what is EMF? across L, zero. That is, all the voltage of the battery now appears across R. And there's no more voltage across the resistance. EL is zero. Clearly, because when we reach E over R, the current stops changing. That's that's the maximum value of the current. And when it reaches that current, it stops changing. When the current stops changing, the EMF across the inductor, which is L di over dt, it's a derivative. It's a inductance, which is 3 Henry, times the derivative of I. But when I reaches E over R, so it just becomes constant. It doesn't change anymore. That's in the steady state, which is achieved after a, a long time. It's attained after, if you wait long enough, the current becomes E over R. It stops changing, and so di over dt becomes zero. And so the induced EMF across L becomes zero. Or we can see it right away from here, that the battery has 40 volts. And already 40 volts appear across R. So 
by Kirchhoff's law, the potential across, potential difference across L is zero.